All right, kiddos. So what we're going to do is just a quick overview of point of view and perspective. So earlier in the week, you listened to the read aloud of The Legend of Rock Paper Scissors. I really like that book. I think it's really funny. Um, and I think it gives us a really good insight into point of view and perspective. So first, what is point of view? Well, in the fourth grade, we learned about two points of view. We learn about first person point of view, um, which is told from the character's point of view. Um, it's the character in the story telling the story. Um, so think about the lightning thief. Percy was our narrator. Percy was the one telling the story, and Percy was also in the story. So keywords here are going to be I, me, and my. Third person point of view is a little bit different. There is a narrator telling the story. So someone who is not a character in the story, someone outside the story is telling it. Um, so think about Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing. Even though that was told, um, like we learned a lot about Peter, Peter was not the one telling the story. There was a narrator telling the story. I'm going to use my little, oh, look how fancy this is. Okay, so keywords are going to be he, she, and they. Okay, all right. Another thing we're going to talk about is perspective. Now, this is a new term for us. So, like I said, the lightning thief was not only told from Percy's point of view, but also Percy's perspective. Okay, we saw everything through Percy's eyes, and that was a wonderful way for us to get to learn about how he's thinking, acting, feeling, and speaking. But even when something is third person point of view, I can still learn about someone's perspective. Even if that person is not telling the story, I'm still able to get an insight on how they're thinking, acting, feeling, and speaking. So perspective is someone's background knowledge, um, which we know is their experiences, the way they see and feel about things. So let me give you an example. Everybody has a different perspective. Mr. Cody and I have different perspectives. So I know that you guys know that I have Moose and Waylon, um, and I love them. But I'm actually a little bit scared of big dogs I don't know. If I don't know the dog, I get a little bit freaked out about it because I've seen a really mean, really big dog bite my friend before when we were little kids playing in the neighborhood. And so I am honestly a little bit scared of big dogs I don't know. Now, Mr. Cody has never had that experience. Um, he's never met a mean dog. He loves all dogs. Um, and so Mr. Cody has no fear of dogs. So we have different perspectives. But if a big dog was walking down the street with no leash, we would react in different ways because we have a different perspective. Mr. Cody, real excited to see that dog. Miss Megan, I'm a little bit scared. Okay, I'm going to let Mr. Cody feel it out. I'm going to see how, if he's nice, is he me? And if it's going to take me a few minutes to warm up to him. I love dogs, but I've also seen a mean dog. And so our background knowledge, okay, our perspective is different. So we're going to react to things differently, okay? Um, and it's different from point of view because point of view is who is telling the story and perspective is how each character is feeling, okay? So think, for instance, the lightning thief. It was told from Percy's point of view, but we also got to see a little bit of Grover and Annabeth's perspective along the way, even though they weren't the ones telling the story. So in third person point of view, even if it's a narrator, some, remember because third person point of view, it's a narrator telling the story, someone outside the story. Even if a narrator is telling the story, I can still learn about a character's perspective. And sometimes a book is going to focus on just one character's perspective. So we're going to fill out a graphic organizer. Um, and I'm going to use the legend of rock, paper, scissors to help me. So I'm going to turn my little pointer off. Okay. Um, this graphic organizer looks just like, I mean, exactly identical to the one that you're going to have to fill out over holes. So follow along with me and this will help you out with yours. So where it says text, well, I need to put the title of whatever book or article or whatever it is I'm using. And we know that we're talking about the legend of rock, paper, scissors. So here's my first question. What point of view is used to tell the story, and how do you know? Remember, we've practiced this. I'm going to count my question marks. I see two. So that tells me I need to make sure I have two answers. What point of view is used to tell the story? Okay, so I know my points of view are first and third. First is when a character tells the story. Third is when a narrator tells the story. 
when I think back to my book, I know that it wasn't just from one character. There was a narrator telling the story. So it's in third person. How do I know? Okay. It said things like the rock or the paper. Someone outside the story is telling the story. I know because it didn't use keywords like I, me, and my. Think about the lightning thief. It always said Percy would say things like my head was spinning. I didn't know what to do. My mother was gone. Um, those are all those I, me, my words. And in here, it was like the rock, the paper. Okay. So this is why it is third person. If I check on my next question, it says from which character's perspective is the story told and how do you know? Again, I know that to look for those keywords in my question, my keyword here is perspective. Um, there are two question marks, so I need two answers. And I know perspective, okay, is how a character's thinking, acting, feeling, their experience, their background knowledge. But when it asks me which character's perspective is the story told, that means who did we see the story through? So like in Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing, even though a narrator was telling the story, we saw it through Peter's eyes. So even though the legend of rock, paper, scissors is from third person, a narrator was telling the story, um, there are, it focused on certain characters. And here it focused on three. So its perspective is the rock, the paper, and the scissors. How do you know? It goes back and forth between them all. Remember, it talked about the rock smooshing the apricot. And it talked about the scissors fighting the dinosaur chicken nuggets. It talked about the paper getting the, the box monster, right? Was it the computer printer, the box monster? Um, and so we're able to see um, how the characters are thinking, acting, feeling from all of their eyes. So it's from all three of their perspectives. And then here's a tough one that's really going to make you think, okay? How would this story change? if it was told from the point of view of another character. So instead of it being third person, let's say it was first person, and let's say it only focused on either the rock or the paper or the scissors, how would this story be different? So if I said this, per if this story was told from first person point of view, POV stands for point of view, then we would only see one side of the story instead of all three. If it was only told from the rock, I'm only going to hear from the rock. I'm not going to know about the paper fight and the computer printer or the trail mix or the scissors fighting the tape or the dinosaur chicken nuggets. I'm only going to see it through the rock. Okay? So remember, when you're going through this graphic organizer, make sure that you really take your time to read the question, count your question marks, make note of any key words that you see, Okay, and make sure that you're answering it fully. You notice that all of my answers are in complete sentences and I've answered everything very fully. So if you have questions, um, ask your parents to send me a message on Remind, on Facebook, ask to set up a Zoom meeting. We can call each other. Anything that you need, um, just let me know. So I love you guys. I miss you guys. And I can't wait to see you guys soon.